Hey, what's going on guys? So I'm actually gonna be recording on this nice little handy recorder right here. It's something that we're gonna be implementing a little more in future weddings and events. Something about audio is that you can never trust just one audio. You normally wanna trust multiple audios because sometimes, even though it might be nice gear and fairly new, audio equipment does happen to, to fail on you. Um, there has been recent weddings where audio has failed me but luckily i had multiple forms of audio where i was able to reconcile and still use the audio in the wedding film so um another reason too that i'm using this as well is because melanie is sleeping right now and i'm trying not to talk too loud because i don't want to wake her up she does have work in the morning it is a weekday and it is currently 1.52 a.m. Um, just finishing up some projects, some editing, and I thought I might as well, you know, jump on and make the YouTube video and show you guys kind of like a more real side that goes on behind the curtain. So, um, the thing about making the YouTube videos is that it's always hard to make different topics. There's a lot of topics to go over, but something that I've wanted to lean more into is kind of like the reality of things. I want to show you guys more behind the curtain, how we run our business, and hopefully people that are looking to grow their business or create a new business or jump into the business world and chase after their dreams, hopefully they can take something away from this and, you know, Hopefully, I, in some way, I can help you. Um, also, if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to drop it down in the comments section or feel free to message me personally. I will get back to you as soon as possible and help you out on however best I can on ways that I've been helped. So, I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little weird because, yeah, it is pretty late and I'm trying to, you know, keep it kind of quiet. But um, a little thing that goes on behind the the scenes is that yes i do stay up till you know sometimes uh 2 3 a.m and normally i will just go to the gym to knock out my workout early in the morning and come home and then go to sleep for a little bit and normally i wake up again around 7 8 8 a.m to um just get the day started so what happened was when I quit my job, the reason why I quit my job, the way I quit my job, I didn't exactly put a two week notice in. I actually quit just by not showing up again because I was, it, it was honestly, I was, I woke up one day and I started realizing that my paychecks were coming in and my photography business was doing a lot better than my actual uh, nine to five job. And yeah, I got to say it was a bit scary taking that leap and saying, you know what, I'm not going to go to work anymore and I'm going to go full scale on photography. Yeah, that's definitely a very scary realization. But the thing is, is that the way I saw it is that I can keep coming to this job because it is secure and I know I'm getting a check every week and no matter what, I'm going to get paid as long as I'm doing really well at my job. But on the flip side, the photography business was getting to a level to where it was either downsize the photography business and only take in so much, um, so much, um, bookings and turn down more bookings because it's going to interfere with my nine to five job or quit my nine to five job and take the leap of faith and go all in 
and just try and maximize as much as possible by with all the extra time I'm going to have. So what's funny about me doing this is that I kind of thought that I was um, that it was going to like I was going to have more time to work on everything and I was going to get caught up and to where I was going to have a bunch of free time. That was a huge, huge misconception because now I am busier than ever. I get, I have meetings almost two to three times a week with my attorney and other legal figures that I work with also for my advertisements. Um, we're planning out and plotting best ways to go about advertisement and those meetings, they are a lot longer than I thought. I never realized that meetings are actually that long, but yeah. So there's times where Melanie will come home from work and she gets off of work, you know, around five o'clock ish and she'll come home and I'll have to tell her like, Hey, like, Surprisingly, I was stuck on phone calls and writing contracts all day and I didn't have time to work on anything today. So, um, that's where we like the time span actually expanded. And I'm also, you know, I'm still trying to learn. I'm trying to expand my horizon on learning how to talk to clientele, how to talk to corporate uh, organizations so I can do commercials for them and so forth. And, you know, yeah, obviously, you get more money with these corporate clients, but also on the other end of the spectrum, you have to learn to talk with these people because it's a whole nother, it's a whole nother avenue of trying to talk to these people. They're not just going to book anybody. You know, they want someone with legitimacy. They're going to want somebody with like a website with uh, liability insurance that, you know, has a little more skin in the game than just a freelance photographer that you know, does it as a hobby on the side. Those people don't have, um, honestly much to lose if they mess up. And when dealing with these higher end clients, people like to see that you have dove all in and you have some skin in the game, you know, because they like to see that, oh, this guy's pretty for sure about what he's doing. So he's going to, you know, he's going to put everything forward because this is his livelihood on the line. That At least that's how I view it. I view this business as, you know, sink or swim, especially within the first year, couple of years, you know, um, you're not making necessarily a lot of money, but you are um, navigating the waters. I, I best can say that you're navigating the waters. Um, and that's one thing, you know, when I quit my nine to five job, I ended up, um, you know, I would buy gear every week. And I mean, I still buy gear frequently because I want to bring the best top end, uh, you know, I want to bring the best production to my clients because, you know, to me, you, you pay any form of money that's your hard earned money. And I want to make sure that you're getting the best bang for your buck. For instance, um, we have weddings coming up and all these, this hot wedding season's coming up and we're booking a lot. We're going to be booked to the brim because I mean, literally this weekend we have a photo shoot on friday saturday sunday and then we're going straight into another photo shoot on wednesday and then following that a whole nother weekend full and so forth um it's definitely very very busy but like i said i'm very grateful to have my team behind me because that's how i'm able to do it because to be honest, like photographers that do this by themselves, I have to give you the utmost respect and utmost props because you guys, I have no clue how you guys do it, but you guys seem to be getting it done and doing it by yourself. I got to say, I don't know how I would do it by myself. I'm so grateful for my team and in the future, possibly next week, in the next two weeks, I really want to get my team on this YouTube and I want them to do their own YouTube video to personally show who they are and what they like and kind of how they got into photography because yeah it's cool for me to drop tutorials and um tutorials and how-to videos and uh, gear reviews and all this stuff but at the end of the day like I kind of want to drop videos more interacting on the you know behind the curtain because I feel like I want you guys to understand who I am as a person and how my team is as a person because that's kind of one of the reasons why I like to do engagement photo sessions and engagement video sessions because that gives me an opportunity to interact and meet 
my you know my couple or say for instance we we recently started adding on pre-event photo and video sessions for quinceaneras as well because that gives us a good opportunity to interact with the family interact with anybody that's involved with the session and they get to see how we work as a team and get to see our personalities because if i'm being honest what I strive to be and what I try to push my team to strive to be is I always want us to always push to do better every session. And I also, I, I really want to shy away from that stigma that photographers are stifflers. Because when I came into this industry, there I got so many messages about people talking about they weren't having fun at their photo shoots or the photographer said some mean stuff or was very like, very strict about the way they wanted to go about things and i i never liked that because i feel like as a photographer like you want to encourage your clients to have a great time and that's why now i tell people that this isn't a photo shoot this is an experience when booking with us we're giving you experience we're going to make you laugh and i want you to think of it more like if this is an engagement session a couple session a family session i want you to think of it like a family day out a date night like something that you can go and do and have fun and capture beautiful moments. And then later on, you know, you go out and go on a date or go out and have a family dinner and you guys are able to have a full on experience with this, laugh and enjoy and look forward to the next time, you know, because what I want to build is I love when I meet a client and we really hit it off and they understand they, they they come to see that it is an experience and they come back and book us again like for instance this past uh week or this past month or so we recently worked with my good friend manny salazar and he uh, lives out of blythe runs uh glam by manny studios in blythe california um that's a nice little plug right there i'll drop his instagram in the bio but um, back to the story, he booked us for his newborn announcement to announce uh, what the gender was of his child. And then he also had us do a maternity studio session and then also called us to get his newborn session in the hospital. And it was just such a beautiful moment to be able to go from all those steps of capturing such a great big moment of their life and just document that for them and make it something very special i really genuinely enjoyed that and just seeing that it was just it was so beautiful to see and see that the growth through our clients and capturing all these beautiful moments for them to cherish for as long as they can and it just that right there really blew me away and that's something that i like from now on like i really want to chase because like if i shoot your wedding or if i shoot your maternity or your family session i want it to be a lifelong partnership because like i i i, I want to be able to build that reputation with you guys i want to be able to connect and really capture such genuine candid emotion because yeah we can do these you know um poses where everything is structured and you know you look this way and you look that way and you know it's going to be a great photo but i want to capture like raw emotion that raw emotion where you can look back and you can feel what you felt in that time like when i make my videos i want excuse me when i make my videos i want you to feel that emotion when you're at your wedding and I put the audio over it, I put the speeches, and then I put like everything compiled together. I want you guys to be able to look back at this day and remember what you guys felt, how you guys felt. I want, you know, I want you guys to feel this strong emotion when watching these videos. And that's kind of what I want to achieve. So this video, I'm sorry if I went off on a rambling tear, but I kind of just wanted to level with you guys and show you guys kind of behind the curtain on how, you know, it's, it's, it's 2 a.m. in the morning and I'm still working on my clients' galleries and I'm posting this, I'm, I'm creating this YouTube video for you guys because I, I just, I, that's what I want to do for you guys. I want to really be there for my clients. I really want to be there for you guys. I want to show you everything behind the curtain. I want you guys to feel like you guys have a connection to where you can see that like, wow, this guy's really putting in the work and this team really cares 
about photography and we're not just here just for you know just any type of gain we're here because we love to do this and we're very passionate about this so um if anything to take away from this video i hope you guys see that the reality behind the curtain and that we really do work 110 percent really hard to bring you guys the best peak content and when you guys see this video i hope you guys um message me you know if you guys have any questions about business or about running a photography company or running any type of company in general i'm more than happy to help you guys on how we did it um any struggles that we went if you guys have any questions or anything you guys would like to know please leave it down in the comments i'll be leaving any affiliate links down there for you know obviously glam by glam by manny studios my good friend who does makeup and hair and all the above in that area he does weddings as well amazing friend of mine he helps me out with business as well and i'm forever grateful for him and that's just that's what i hope you guys can take from this is if anything please you know contact me and i'm more than happy to help you guys um real quick to go over what we use to create our business in case any of you are in the market for creating a business we used legal zoom what they do is you pay a flat rate on getting your business off the ground and they do all the heavy lifting for you they file all the paperwork for you they assign you agents and trademark agents to help you get everything going off the ground and it was a big help for me because honestly we would have felt very lost having to file everything by hand on our own so LegalZoom.com is definitely a great one for our website. I greatly recommend Squarespace. That was a very big team effort to get our website looking how it looks. Um, currently, it took the whole team effort. It was a good like three different drafts that we did, but we wanted to bring you guys the best website to navigate and that you guys can see our portfolio on there and our video portfolio we want to make everything as seamless and as easy as possible for the booking process so um sorry if i'm rambling again but um have a great day guys and please subscribe and like this video it really helps our youtube algorithm and if you guys would like to see anything in the future please drop it down in the comments for future bookings if you guys would like to book anything from weddings family sessions the new holiday mini sessions that we have going on right now um please um, click on the links down below you can see our instagram you can email me and you can check out our website and submit a form through there and we'll get in contact with you so yet again thank you guys for tuning in for yet another youtube video i greatly appreciate it without you guys this wouldn't be happening so yes i greatly appreciate it and have a great day guys later